Hello everybody, what's going on again? Buddy Blackford here again with another After Effects CSX tutorial again. So I'm going to show you how to do some advanced transformations and using an effect we can achieve this and it's pretty sweet everything's all in one spot so let's uh, I guess let's get to it so let's go to like one of our things that we got here and I've got this uh, troll face Mexican thing that I made and I have put an effect on it called transform and as you can see it's got all this stuff on here we got the anchor point position scale skew and all that stuff I'm gonna delete that off so we can actually I'm just gonna show you where it is if you come into a effect and then you come down to distort right here they're in ABC order just so you know and then you come down to transform and click on it that's where you get the uh, new tra the uh, transform menu now the transform has the skew and skew axis in there which is pretty uh, neat and then it's got the shutter angle and then you can check off if you want uniform scale if, if you would like so and then you got the scale width if you check off uniform scale this uh, uniform scale is keyframable so when you uncheck and check that's gonna be sweet you can keyframe it so you can't do that in your original transform can you so we got the um, our different things here we've got the crosshairs here so when we move our position it's easier to just move it without having to drag your guy around um, same thing with your anchor point you can easily move that without having to drag the anchor point and like click on it and drag it so now our anchor points down here or well it's actually up here I just moved it there but whatever um, <clears throat> scale obviously we got our skew which kinda like tilts it we got our skew axis, which we can move. Let me skew it a little bit more. So we got our skew axis, which we can use to uh, adjust how our guy is skewed, and we can do like a magic mushrooms effect, like doing this. So hopefully none of you guys are on mushrooms right now because I'm sure you'd be tripping out. All right, let's put those back to what they were at. Obviously, rotation, which uh, hasn't changed in this one, but it's all in one spot, so that's easy. We got our opacity, nothing changed. Uh, shutter angle, which uh, deals with uh, motion blur. And right now, it's checked to use composition, shutter angle, and that can be found under composition and composition settings and come over here to the advanced tab and motion blur shutter angle now we could change the shutter angle here by unchecking this and changing the shutter angle and that's also keyframable so that's uh, another advanced uh, method here so that's uh, within the motion blur and that'll increase your blur or decrease the amount of motion blur that you have when your object is moving across the screen now another trick that you can use by using this transform is transforming a bunch of objects at once quickly. So let me delete this off and we're going to add an adjustment layer. And we're going to put our transform effect onto that adjustment layer. Now if I move things they're all going to move together so let's rotate them. So now that's a way you can move everything together without having to put everything in a composition. Now, the only, there's a, uh, a uh, trade-off for this, is that like if you have a background, when you go to move the rotation or whatever, your background's gonna move along with it. So that's, uh, that's one thing that's kinda crappy. The way to get around this is to pre-compose the layers with the adjustment layer and uh, not include the background here so maybe I wanted to do a rotation here with all my layers and let's rotate it a little bit like that so we got a little rotation there and now if I come into here and pre-compose this layer 
or these layers. So I selected my adjustment layer and I selected all the picture layers here, but I didn't select the background. Precompose, and then you only have one option. So uh, rotated, I'm gonna name it. Now everything will be in the layer and will be rotating, but not the background layer. So that's how you uh, do that. So there's uh, some tricks on advanced transforming. It's just an effect and not a lot of people know about it because it's in the distort effects and you don't always have to use the distort effects to distort things. So thanks for uh, watching this tutorial and hopefully you can use that to speed up your process a little bit and get things done quickly. Have a good one everybody. Thanks for watching.